Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this is the Kaiweets KT301P, and the P just designates that it comes with some extra parts that I'll get to in a second. And th what this is, is a circuit breaker finder. Kaiweets sent me this, it's actually the second one they sent me, they had kind of a trial one to see if they could, um, you know, make it even better, and uh, they certainly did. What this is, is a detector, or a receiver if you will, and this is a transmitter among other things. This uh, has some voltage readings, but also um, a GFCI tester and of course it transmits a signal through the electrical line which then this thing can detect at the uh, breaker box. So what you can do is plug this in to the, um, the circuit that you have a question about and I've got an example coming up. One of the neat things about this transmitter is uh, I can plug it into something and then I can pull it back out and then read what's going on because it remembers everything. So you can see it's, uh, it's obviously doing the transmitting there, not plugged into anything. But I'm going to reach over. Let's say I can't really see what's going on because of the location of the outlet, which I'm simulating here. So I pull it back out and then bring it over. And what do I have? Well, I have got a fault uh, showing me what it is. Uh, open line. There's the voltage. Um, so it gives me the information I need to hopefully rectify this, but it's all self-contained. So it's possible to reach in and under things and around things and behind things. And if you can't see the screen, it doesn't really help. Sometimes in the past I've like used mirrors, I've taken pictures, stuck my phone back there and tried to uh, also get the image, um, especially if you're working behind appliances, you know, and you don't want to pull the refrigerator all the way out of the wall and the cords or the... Uh, the outlet doesn't line up with this thing, could use extension cords, but it's just easy to plug it in and pull it out. And that's pretty cool right there. To me, that's almost worth the price of admission. It's just being able to grab it. And as you can see, it's still here and it'll sit there, well, until it shuts off. It does have auto off on these as well, uh, you know, and backlighting and um, and if, the, if you don't have a standard grounded um, outlet, there are other ways you can attach it. And that's where the parts come in, is you can uh, plug it into this and then clamp it directly to a line. Uh, you can obviously drop it from a grounded to an ungrounded. Or in this case, you can even continue it one level further, whoops, um, where you would then have an ungrounded outlet. Um, adapter into an Edison socket so you could put it into uh, say a light bulb socket to try to find that and then once you plug this thing in what it does is sends uh, a signal through the line and so back at the breaker box you use this to basically move it around until you get the signal that that is the actual breaker that is um, connected to where this is attached, this is plugged in. Um, I have done a video on the Klein years ago. There's also a Milwaukee one as well. Milwaukee sells the parts extra if you want the kit. It's like 16 bucks for these extra little pieces. But one of the things uh, that you can do with this that um, really makes it so much easier is you don't have to shut off circuits you don't need. Now, sometimes there's a lot of guesswork, but what I've got is an example here, and this is the same example that I used with the Klein. Um, and when I did that video, a lot of people watched it, but there were tons of uh, uh, questions like, could you run it on a 12 volt or a 24, 24 volt service? According to this, um, the specs on this, no, you couldn't. It begins at 30, 30 to 120. So of course, 240 is out as well because this isn't designed, the transmitter isn't designed for that. Um, it also uh, well, actually, if you go back to that video, I'll link it below, there are lots of questions. So there's great interest in these things. Uh, can you find it on a dead circuit? Um, no, I don't believe you could because there's uh, not electricity running through it. However, this does have a memory. It stays on after you disconnect it. So there is, you know, because of the onboard battery, but I don't think that's enough to punch the electrons through the pipe back to the breaker box. But that is apparently it's something that is in need. So if you're watching this, Kaiweets, you know, maybe you can have a powered one, but that sounds like it's getting a little dangerous because then you're running DC through an AC, hoping it's off. Uh, I'm not going to go there. But anyway, this also has a flashlight. It also has a non-contact voltage sensor. So what I've got is a uh, breaker box and an outlet that are visible together. Start at the outlet. You can see the 
um, the Kiowit's transmitter is being um, inserted into the, the outlet and it, you can also see that there is a fault on this outlet. So that's another test here. Does it work on things that aren't working? Well, it, or aren't correct? It does, which is important because I need to rewire this, this particular outlet because it's not set up correctly. Now, um, once this is on and uh, transmitting, then I can go to the breaker box and I first have to teach the, the receiver what uh, it's looking for. So um, I slowly move the sensor, which is at the front end, the beak of this thing, up and down the breakers. So it kind of picks up things and sometimes it makes all kinds of noise and you're thinking, wow, this is way off. This isn't, pick it's picking up everything. But then after it's learned it, then it dials in and boom, there's the, uh, the live circuit. It yells at you, it blinks at you, and then I can flip the breaker on and off, which, uh, you know, you can see makes uh, the light go on and off. So that's the one. So anyway, uh, I thank Kaiwitz for sending me this to try out. There are several other videos online. I know Morgan's Maintenance worked with it. Um, and I did talk to him about something and that was and the non-contact voltage uh, test on this. What I found was that if I attached it to a, or if I put it near a line, there was some sensitivity on right and left. Um, and if that's the case, let me grab a wire here. What does that actually mean? And sometimes it might be that you can tell what's going on inside. So we'll go ahead and turn this thing on. Um, and I'm going to turn it to the non-contact. There it is. And now... Is it picking up anything? There we go. There, on that side. So what are your thoughts on that? What if I rotate the wire? I think there's sensitivity more on this side. What about directly in front? No matter what. So you probably need to make sure that that's what you're searching with. Nothing on the side. I'm used to grabbing the, the little wands and putting them on the side, but definitely works. Anyway, uh, there you go. Kiwi's, uh Circuit Breaker Finder. And with that, dock out.